everyone, this is Andy from Tennis with Andy. So here is my review of four different rackets. And um, I guess what spurred me on to, to do all these place tests were um, I got a lot of comments from the Pro Stuff 90 videos. And uh, to tell you the truth, um, I love playing with my Pro Stuff 90, um, but I actually do get tired when I'm playing with it. I, I get fatigued. And um, to be honest, like I, I really would like a little bit of help from the racket um, or the racket I use. So I'm looking for something that's like the Pro Stuff 90, but gives uh, a little bit more for, for a little bit more for forgiveness. And so we're reviewing four rackets in rapid fashion today. So we're gonna do the Slinko Whiteout, um, the 98 square inch, Prince Phantom, uh, Prince Phantom 93, the 1820 version. Um, in the, the latest version released in 2020. Then the um, Yonix V-Core 97H330, so that's the latest one. And then the Yonix V-Core 95, um, the 2018 version. So um, I listed them in order of uh, preference, actually. Um, so first of all, with the start off with the Slinkle Whiteout. So I had high hopes for it, and um, just to be honest, it's a really nice racket, um, and it's just not for me. Um, it has a bit of a high launch angle, um, and I found that I was losing a lot of control from it, so balls I thought would normally go in would just sail out. Um, one thing to note is Slinko had an interesting approach for this racket in that they gave it a really nice, beefy swing weight, but I think they made it way too um, head heavy. So to compensate, they um, had uh, five grams and 10 grams like butt caps they could um, replace the original cap with. So it's a good idea. Um, I think I, I just added a, a bit of weight to the butt cap in, but it still wasn't enough for me to feel that control. It's a very open 60 by 19. So I would recommend this for players who like um, a crisp feeling racket, one that's comfortable, but also need um, an extra help to, to really get depth or to get spin. The next racket is a Phantom 93P 18x20, um, the 2020 version. Um, so this, I just have to say, prints well done. Like this is a very solid racket. And I think what it reminds me of is if you ever, I know you guys have done this, you've gone to the club um, tennis club and then there's this guy maybe an older guy who just stays there in one spot and just says okay I'm gonna hit a winner in that corner flat winner bang flat winner in that corner bang so that's what I feel this racket is for and that is so precise and it's so penetrating in terms of shots and where you where you um, swing that's where the ball is gonna go I had a lot of control with it um, I just thought for me, it was just a little bit too much in terms of the, the control. I feel like they could have opened it up just a little bit, maybe put a 16 by 20 um, pattern. But if I had that sort of game where I'm just all about flat laser shots, then um, this would be the racket um, that I'd use. So next, uh, this one, I absolutely love this racket when I was sitting with it, the Yonix V-Core. I think it's the Yonix V-Core Pro 97H. 330. These names confuse me to be honest, but I'll show the picture. I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I'll link it out to you below so you can see what the racket is. But this racket, it just, it's just a beautiful racket. Like it's, it's one where like, it's really, um, maybe I got one that was sub 40, sub 340 in terms of swing weight, but I felt like the swing weight was, was perfect for its size. Um, the Yonix isometric head shape uh, made this feel, uh, made the sweet spot feel like it was like 104 inches, um, 104 inch racket, but it still um, was really man maneuverable. And um, it's one that I definitely enjoyed hitting with. Um, and as you can see, I, I'm just like, my goal when I was sitting with this racket was just to blast as many forehands as I could. Kick serves were amazing. Flat serves were, were pretty good too. Um, once I realized that I needed to pronate on the flat serve, then it just um, it just made it so much better. Um, volleys were good and back ends were solid too. The only knock that I'd have on this is that I needed to be aggressive 
with this racket. Like I needed to be really going out and, and swinging um, aggressively on every shot. Um, and when I missed, or if I, or if I was too uh, tentative, the ball would sail, sail long. So that was just more on me. Um, if, if I'm playing my game, this is a racket uh, for me. The Yonex V-Core 97H330. Now the last one is the Yonex V-Core 95 Tango Red 2018 version. Um, this, uh, I actually had this before and um, my game had changed and that's one thing I definitely recommend for you guys. Um, like I think oftentimes we think our game stays static but in reality like we're constantly changing. Um, I know for me like before my two-handed backhand was one where I use it a lot for defense and just try and try to push the ball in. But now I'm looking to be a lot more aggressive. So I'm looking for a racket that really highlights that. And um, this racket uh, is just perfect for the backhand. And that's what I expected. You know, I feel like Yonix um, mid-sized rackets are really good for backhand, whether it's one hand or two hand. But what surprised me was in this latest um, uh, honeymoon period I had with this racket that um, I was really walloping the forehands as well and um, I started using it uh, first of all just replacing the um, the original grip with leather grip and not adding any weight and um, it was just perfect that in certain, I was getting I was able to swing out on everything and if I missed the ball would land short as opposed to long so that's the difference between this and the um, previous racket that I mentioned um, serves were pinpoint con control, um, kick serves uh, were great, uh, flat serves I could place them really well. Um, one knock is that it's, I think in Tennis Warehouse reviews they mentioned it's not as much um, pace, but um, I generally don't struggle with getting pace on the serve, um, so this, this, this felt fine for me. I think if anything, I'd add a little bit of weight at 3 and 9 to improve um, the pace that I get on the serve, but also the um, stability on volleys. So yeah, um, I think this is, for me, the Yonex V-Core 95 2018 version is an easier to use um, post F90. I really like the 1620 um, pattern. Um, I think it's great um, when you put the leather grip and it's one that I can use and just not fatigue. Um, one thing to mention is that I have tried and used the latest version of the VCore 95, the 2021, um, but I found that the, um, I don't know, it just, it just wasn't for me. I think it's more for uh, someone who likes to stay in the baseline and uh, just kind of rally. Um, and it's, uh, they added a little bit of uh, stiffness to the um, top of the hoop, so it, it get, gives you more natural topspin for that 2021 version. But I felt like it was a big lack, lack in feel. So the 2018 is the one that I, I, I'm riding with and uh, it's the one that I'm going to use for the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned for videos of me playing matches. Hopefully the honeymoon period ex extends past just the, the first couple of days. So play smart and see results. This is Andy from Tennis with Andy.